there, camper. Welcome to our camp. My name is Chase, and I'll be your camp counselor while you're here. This is a special video because this is the first episode of The Knight Who Lost a Sword. This story follows a knight named Sir Bob the Seventh. Sir Bob's journey takes place in the Nation of Imagination, where the ruler, Queen Sandra, sends Sir Bob on a quest to move a dragon that she believes is dangerous. He tries his best to complete his task, but things don't quite go as expected. Will you imagine with me? Let's see what happens. Phew! I'm lucky I got out of the cave in one piece. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what happened in there. I walked in with my torch, but out of nowhere, my light blew out. <laughs> I couldn't see a thing. I had no idea where I was. So, after walking for a while, I think I bumped into the dragon, because all of a sudden, there were a lot of fast movements, and we got into a scuffle. It was all really confusing. I tried to run back the way I came in, and I saw some light. Fold it, and now I'm here. Phew! I don't think we can get the dragon to move today, and we probably shouldn't stay here either. Let's head back to the village and tell Queen Sandra what happened. <laughs> yes, buddy, we, we can get some ice cream on the way. You certainly earned it. Alright, let's do a final check before we go. Let's start with us. You're here. <laughs> check. I'm here. Check! Now let's check our equipment. We have your saddle. <laughs> check! And lastly, we have my sword. <laughs> A shovel? <laughs> How could this be? I had my sword in my hand the whole time. I... I must have somehow switched my sword out for a shovel when the lights went out and when I scuffled with the dragon. A, a knight can't lose a sword. That is what makes a knight... A, a knight! Hmm... Hmm, what to do? I can't go back in. I have no torch or way to defend myself. I, I think we ought to ride back to the village and report to Queen Sandra as soon as possible. No time to delay. I'm sorry, buddy. That, that means no ice cream this time. Let's ride. All right, let's get some ice cream. Let's ride. Good day, Sir Bob. How'd your latest adventure go? Good day, Farmer Drew. Unfortunately, I failed my mission. I am on my way to report to the Queen right now. I'm sorry, but I must get on my way. Oh, I understand. Please come visit the farm soon. Introducing Queen Sandra, Queen of the Nation of Imagination. Good day, Your Highness. I have returned from the Dragon's Cave. Sir Bob, I'm glad to see you here safely. What news do you bring? Your Highness, I regret to tell you that I failed to move the dragon from his cave. Hmm, what happened? Well, I walked into the cave with my sword and a torch. Suddenly, my lights went out. I couldn't see where I was walking. The dragon was not happy that I was there, and we scuffled for a moment. Fortunately, I was able to escape the cave. I see. I'm glad you are safe, and I'm sure there is another way to get the dragon to move. I couldn't help but notice. Why do you have a shovel? Oh, uh, yes. I entered the cave with a sword, and somehow, when I left, 
I had a shovel. Hmm, this is interesting. I presume you know the rule about a knight's sword. In our village, a knight is given one sword when he or she becomes a knight. To lose your sword is to lose your only sword. I understand, Your Highness. That is why I kindly ask assistance for a mission to retrieve my sword. Can you spare a few knights to help me? Seeing how dangerous your mission was, I will not place anyone else at risk. I hope you can understand. I, I understand, though I do not know what to do. A sword is what makes a knight a knight. I will be useless without my sword. I can't be a knight with a shovel. Well, I understand your confusion and frustration. A knight is much more than his sword, Sir Bob. Instead of saying, I can't be a knight with a shovel, I encourage you to ask yourself, how can I be a knight with a shovel? All right, how can I be a knight with a shovel? Perfect. While I have never seen a knight use a shovel as their main tool, there is a first time for everything. If you believe that a knight is nothing without a sword, then I challenge you to take some time to remember why you became a knight and rediscover what truly makes a knight a knight. I will. Thank you for the advice, Queen Sandra. I will do my best. That is all that I can ask for. I look forward to hearing about your progress. On you go. Hey, welcome back. Did you have fun? I thought Sir Bob was put in a pretty interesting situation when he lost his sword. I wonder what you would have done if you were in his situation. It can be difficult to try new things. For Sir Bob, he's always been a knight with a sword. So being a knight with a shovel might be difficult for a while. Well, I'm excited to see what Sir Bob does next time, and I hope you are too. Thank you for coming to our camp, and please hurry back. I'll see you next time.